Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to another Google Classroom tutorial. In today's lesson, we're going to be talking about the Create a Question option as a teacher and how a student is able to respond to a question. So on my screen on the left-hand side, I am logged in into the teacher account. And on the right-hand side window, this is a sample student account. So as a teacher, when I click on the plus button on the lower right, I have the option to create a question. If this is the first time you're launching it, a pop-up window will show you a brief summary of what you can do with a question. Uh, I've already been beyond that point, so I'm kind of going to talk about uh, what it shows you, and we're going to demonstrate a question right now. So, as you can imagine, uh, this is you're, we're going to be asking our students a question, and in this case, the question is: Is the DC Metro too expensive? Too cheap or priced fairly? Justify your opinion. So that's all I'm going to ask. This is the question I'm going to ask. Um, and the minute I click ask, I get a pop up that says, okay, do I want my students to be able to see? and reply to each other's answers. Um, maybe this is a question that I really don't want them to see or I don't want them to perhaps copy someone else's answer and reword it uh, to kind of make it their own. So I can completely hide the responses by unchecking that box. I can also state that, you know what, once you hit submit, it's like who wants to be a millionaire? This is my final answer. It's done. So if I click this button, they can actually edit and change their responses a little bit. But maybe in this case, this is sort of like a one-shot deal. I ask, you answer, we're moving on. So the next thing I do is I click Ask. So now this has just been pushed out uh, to my students. I can see over here in my student window that my stream has been updated. And I can say, oh, look, here is the question. I am not at liberty to say. And that's my answer. And I can go ahead and hit Submit. And by hitting Submit, it's warning me that my teacher has set this up where I can't change my answer. This is it. Whatever I say, it's my final answer. I hit Submit. and it's been turned in. So now let's go back to the teacher view. I see that one assignment has been turned in, two are not done. I can actually come into this assignment. And if I'm very curious about student 10 and their response, I can actually carry on a private conversation with this student um, in Google Classroom. So I can say, well, why not? So maybe. Maybe the student has reasons for not being able to answer a specific question, so on and so forth. So there you have it. That's the create a question option where the teacher has stated, I do not want students to be able to see or edit um, their own replies or their own re responses or comment on other students' responses. That's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.